Hey, praise the Lord. Greetings to you all once again in Jesus' name. This is Brother Clinton. Welcome to my office once again, and welcome to the Word Prophet Channel, a Christian ministry dedicated to the purpose of teaching the Word of God to the people in the churches of God, so that we can go back to serving God in spirit and in truth, as Jesus Christ commanded. I'd like to talk to you about something that I've talked about several times before on this channel, and I'm going to leave a link to a video below in the information box that is called What is Born Again? And it takes about 19 minutes to watch it, and I highly recommend that you do that because I, it will, you will see therein an explanation from the scripture of exactly what being born again is all about. I'm not going to go into all that detail in this short video. I just want to make a short message to let people know out there basically what it is to be born again, what born again means. We see the, the phrase born again a couple of times in the scripture. Jesus used it in, in his conversation with Nicodemus in John chapter 3, verse 3. Uh, he said to Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And so, therefore, we can understand that when a man is born again, that means that he can see the kingdom of God. It doesn't mean that he's a Christian or that he has entered into the kingdom of God, but it means that he can see the kingdom of God. And again, in 1 Peter 1.23, the scripture says, Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. So this tells us something very important as well. When we are born again, we are born again by the word of God. And Jesus said this again in Luke chapter 8, verse 11, after he, was, after he had spoken the parable of the sower. And he was explaining the parable to his disciples. He said, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Of God. Luke chapter 8 verse 11. So we can see from the scripture in just these few verses a couple of very important things. Being born again means that the Word of God has entered into you and that you are made able to see the kingdom of God. When a man is born again that means that the life of God has entered into him and the life of God is in his word. Remember the scripture says in him was life and the life was the light of men. In the, in the first chapter of John. And so, I believe it's John 1, 4. I could be wrong about the verse, but I know it's in John chapter 1. Let me just check it out real quick. John chapter 1, uh, verse 4. Yes, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And so, we can see from the scripture that being born again doesn't make you a Christian. It makes you able to see the kingdom of God so that you can repent and obey the gospel of Christ and be saved. A man cannot obey the gospel of Christ until he's been born again. A man cannot repent until he's been born again. There is nothing that you or I can do to cause ourselves to become born again. And that's the last point that I want to make with you and for you in this short video. And again, I'm in the first chapter of John, and I'm starting in verse uh, 11, and it says, and he, he came, un it's, pardon me, it doesn't start with and, it says, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. All right? Even as it was not your decision to become conceived in your mother's womb, but it was based on a decision that was made by your father and your mother. So it is that it was not your decision to become born again. You cannot cause yourself to become born again. Nobody can cause themselves to become born again. Nobody can do something to cause themselves to become born again. Some denominations teach that if you say the sinner's prayer, that will cause you to become born again. That's a lie. Some denominations teach that if you are baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, that has caused you to become born again. That's also a lie. A man is born again by the Word of God. The Word of God is that which converts the soul. This is written in the Psalms. So, if you are born again, it is because of the Word of God. It's not because of anything that you did. It's because God put His Word in you and brought forth life in you so that you can see His kingdom. And if you can see the kingdom of God, that means that you've been born again. All right? If you can't hear the word of God, if you're religious and you're a theologian and, and Christians like me speak the word of God to you and you can't hear it, then it's because you're not born of God. Even as Jesus said, you're not of my father's sheep. You're not of my sheep. He that is of God hears, heareth the words of God. Ye therefore hear them not because you're not of God. Jesus said those words. They're not my words. They're God's words. 
And so if a man is born again, then he will keep the words of God and he will go on to obey the gospel of Christ and be saved. How do we obey the gospel of Christ? Well, we do what the apostles of Christ commanded us to do, and that is to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of our sins and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, which will, of course, cause you to speak with other tongues and prophesy. That's how we obey the gospel, all right? If you have repented and been, been baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, that doesn't mean that you're born again. Okay, because you might be going to a church where they teach that and they've taught so many times that you believed it and you did it. I'm not saying there's, that there's anything wrong with that, but what I'm saying is that doesn't make you born again. What makes you born again is a miracle from God when he puts his word in you and he shows you the light of his kingdom so that you can see his kingdom. That's what being born again means. And there's a great difference between being born again and being a Christian. And in closing this video, I just want to say this. Everyone that is a Christian is born again. But not everyone that is born again is a Christian. And the reason that I say that is because being born again makes you able to see the kingdom of God so that you can hear the word of God, obey the gospel of Christ, and become a Christian. So everyone that is a Christian has been born again. But not everyone that has been born again is a Christian. I hope this helps you. I hope it's a blessing to you. I remain here for you if you have earnest questions. And by all means, before you ask your questions, please click on the link below and view the 19-minute video about being born again, and it'll explain to you in much more detail so that you'll have a better understanding. And if you still have earnest questions, I'm here for you. Write to me. I'm easy to be entreated, and I'm here to teach. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.